a sea of red in show of support Tuesday. Um, this is Heather. She was in, on, she's on Jen. Okay. <laughs> As the Woodlands Elite Cheer Company prayed for four of their cheerleaders shot at just after midnight. Nobody deserves anything like this. The elite athletes were going the distance for their sport. <laughs> Traveling more than 320 miles round trip to and from the Austin area for cheer practice three days a week, using this Elgin HEB as a carpool lot. As Heather Roth was dropped off here Tuesday, she opened the door to what she thought was her car. It wasn't, so she hopped back in her friend's vehicle. As we're backing up, I see the guy get out of the passenger door, and I roll my window down, um, and I was trying to apologize to him, and then he. Uh, I just halfway my window is down. He just threw his hands up and then he pulled out a gun and then he just started shooting at all of us. ABC 13 verified the story with Bastrop County sources. Roth was grazed by a bullet. Her teammate Peyton Washington was shot in the leg and back. Peyton opens the door and starts uh, throwing up blood. The Round Rock ISD senior who was already competing with one lung committed to Baylor University's acro and tumbling team. That coach visited her in the hospital Tuesday. She's a fighter. She's very strong. This weekend, the girls were set to compete at Worlds in Orlando together. It was Washington's final shot at the title. <laughs> she won't be there, but the girls find comfort knowing an arrest has already been made. The suspect is in custody. And they are